Hey there fellow YouTubers, Frank Bush here again. I just thought I'd show you my little uh, ultralight um, backpack that I take with me when I go on family hikes or anything, anytime I go into the woods really. Uh, this is a Sea to Summit bag. These are really ultralight bags. They're not the most durable or uh, you know resistant over time, but it's really an emergency bag that you can just have with you. This bag itself weighs about I think 2.4 ounces, 2.6 ounces, something like that. Super light. This whole kit comes in at about seven and a half pounds. So I'll just kind of go through some of the things. Uh, I keep a little bit of rice and peanuts. Just to have a single meal if I have to. Just, uh, you know, give you proteins, fats, carbs. If you need that one meal to get you going, there it is. And I also like to bring along a mix of coffee. Um, inside this container is a mixture of uh, coffee, uh, coffee whitener, hot chocolate and sugar um, and it's mixed to the ratios that I like if you will. It gives me enough that uh, for the next couple of days I can have uh, you know uh, coffee and I've got a glass container I can put things in afterwards. <sighs> then I have um, a bivy bag. This is a Survive Outdoor Longer SOL. Um, it's a Mylar bivy. Um, this I've already used in weather down to about 10 degrees Celsius by itself, but I also, secondarily to that, have uh, uh, I've got some paracord, everybody's seen 550 cord before, and then I've got uh, a light my fire knife, they're only cheap, got this one at Canadian Tire, it was like 30 bucks or so, stainless steel blade so it'll last long, it's got a ferro rod built into the handle of it. It's, uh, I normally wear uh, a proper knife uh, on my hip, but uh, and uh, I normally carry multi tools and other things on my hip. But just out of nature, a little fire kit that I wear everywhere I go. But I'll, I'll talk about that later. And I've got uh, a flea sleeping bag that I use in combination with the baby, and it can get me down to close to zero degrees Celsius before I'm cold, if you will. And, uh, so I have those things in there. There's some more paracord because cordage is always good. And then I have a container that I can hip wear my bottle on if I want. But I also have a secondary container that it sits inside of that. And I can use that as like a, you know, flip around the other way and cook char and other things on the fire. But I just like this configuration because I can wear it on my hip and just have it when I go about and doing things. But if I need to turn it into a cook kit, it is. I've got a six foot by eight foot tarp that sits in there, just a blue tarp, chibi. Like I say, not long, uh, not designed to last super long times, uh, but long enough where if you had to get yourself a primitive shelter built, you'd be able to stand at the elements while you were doing it. And then uh, additionally, I also have an SOL uh, Mylar blanket for the heat reflectivity game. So I carry fairly heavy on the um, for an ultralight kit on the tarps and on the sleeping setup, the sleeping bags, um, they're probably the largest bulk of everything else. The rest of it really is just the five C's that I like to carry. Though additionally inside this um, inside this ultralight backpack, the Sea of Summit backpack, I also took a, a garbage pail like you'd use in a bathroom and I cut the top off so I took the ridge off but set it down in and turn this sleep uh, turn this um, backpack into a kind of solid body backpack that allows me to have more rigidity against my back and then additionally I'm also carrying a secondary container if I wanted to store water and those types of things so as you, as you can see it's not a huge pile of stuff this really is just kind of a basic uh, I've got a single meal and a bit of coffee as luxury items then everything else in here is really just your basic elements of, of knives, cordage no, I also have a bandana that I carry with me. And then uh, there's a little fire kit that it's got a single little pocket that it, this bag can fold into itself on later if I wanted it to, but I use it to just hold a little fire kit where I have a flint and steel and a lighter that it sits within the kit. And because I'm getting older and get acid reflux, I've got two or three days where the pills were I can settle my stomach until I can kind of get my wits about me if I had to bug out and then just flee, if you will, for a bad situation. So it gives you an idea what I had in my kit. I normally this thing's light enough, like say I think seven and a half pounds uh, when I weighed it on the scale, something like that. It depends on how much food I carry. 
but uh, typically I don't even eat that food with me. I just have it for just in case, if you will, if anything goes on. But uh, yeah, this whole kit, seven and a half pounds, easy to carry. And a very minimal kit, but it will help get you by if you do get lost or stranded in the wilderness. I recommend having a kit like this, at least this level of kit, every time you go into the woods. Have the basic stuff to make sure that you can survive adequately. A little bit of knowledge in these uh, basic fundamental um, survival elements. And uh, you could get by it a lot better than you could if you just were out there with a knife. You know, uh, so so I always recommend to anybody, if you're going in the woods, make sure you have a container, make sure you have a cutting tool, make sure you have cordage, make sure you have some tarps, uh, you know, uh, make sure you have some ways to make fire. And uh, they don't talk about it that often, but make sure you've got sleeping bags that are within reason. You know, these are small and lightweight, but within reason, you're going to give yourself some level of comfort if you have to spend the night. There's nothing like being lost in the woods for two or three or five days or whatever until you get found, if you, if you get found, um, and, and not sleeping through the night because it's too cold. That drains so much out of you. When you get up the next day, you'll be exhausted. You won't be able to function. So I highly recommend that if you're carrying the five C's, always carry sleeping gear with you, even if it's minimal, even if you're going to cut down boughs when you get out there and, you know, make yourself whatever you're going to do, it's still worth carrying the... the two or three pounds worth of weight that this comes to, it's worth it for that level of comfort in longer term being stranded, if you will. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.